Well, there are times when we have seen, you know, what appeared to be one phenomenon, and then with more study, it appeared to be another. And so that's not an invalid question. In fact, we need to be very careful when we look at evidence to make sure that what the evidence points to is what we think it does. In fact, science operates on the ability to question the assumptions that are made about all the things that we do. So that's a valid question to ask. In this case, however, we, we're beginning to get evidence from very different directions that all feed into the same basic conclusion about the age of the universe, and those are, are separate enterprises. I've, two of them, as, as we've discussed, are the actual expansion rate of the universe, and you can kind of trace that expansion back and do a somewhat simple calculation as to how long that expansion must have been going on, and then you were refining that slightly with precision measurements now, but it all points back to about 13.7 billion years. Then a very different way of going about looking for the age of the universe is by looking at the ages of stars that are in galaxies in the universe, and star clusters and galaxy clusters, and you can do age measurements based on a very separate realm of astrophysics that studies how stars process hydrogen and helium, and, and the, the whole process of stars shining is basically a, a huge uh, chemical um, experiment going on, reactions of every kind. And, and so we understand now more and more about how stars function. We can look at different stars and clusters and, and gauge their age. And the whole age game for the oldest stars and oldest clusters of stars and galaxies also points back to an age of the universe that's around the a realm of 13 to 14 billion years. So that's yet you know a separate direction for all this. A third direction is this cosmic microwave background radiation that again is this effect of a an energetic beginning of the universe and if you do the theoretical predictions as to what that background radiation should look like over this amount of time, it again points back to a time frame of about 13 to 14 billion years. Now this is quite amazing. That sounds like a long time to us because our lifespan is much shorter than 13 billion years. But you know, the other question you could ask is why isn't the universe infinite in age, or why isn't it 13 trillion years in age? You know, this, it's kind of arbitrary, if you will. And so the fact that all of these gauges are pointing to something in the same realm of a number of billions of years rather than a number of thousands or trillions or infinite amount of time is corroborative evidence that this is in fact pointing to something we can believe.